hello everyone today i would like to show you how to make a responsive sticky navigation by using html and css only no javascript included so the sticky navbar is one that remains visible when the page is scrolled for example here is my navbar here so if i scroll the page down like this you see that the navbar is still visible so this is what I mean by STK navbar. So this is the type of navbar we are going to be designing. Without wasting time, let's begin. Today I'll just begin with the simple HTML layout. It has already been given. It's the same as the ones I've been using for the previous projects. So I will not waste too much time here. Maybe I've only added this other class, the my text and some other text here, so it can be able to enable me to scroll my page down and up. Let's re refresh here and check our page and see what we have now. So this is the web page in a raw form here. So we are going to begin styling. So I begin by styling the the nav bar yeah that's our nav bar let's check it and see so we save here refresh our page and first start the logo again. So refresh here and see how the page looks out so far. So yeah. This is our logo. Then we can talk about the menu items now. So let's start the menu. Now refresh. Let's look at our website and see. Oh, so the number items are not visible because we've given them a color of white. I remember the background here is white. Um, if you look at the original one, we are doing that the background here was a bit grayish. So, but here when I was styling in my body, I first disabled this dark background. So I have to first put back this dark background so that I can be able to see my menu items properly okay so we go back here then uh, let's move this make this background more a dark background okay then let's refresh and see so refresh here yeah so you can see the menu items are now visible white on a dark background from our index here we have the label for the menu icon but using font awesome so let's start with that one too okay let's see now what you have here yeah of course the label is here but it's dark so we need to make it as white so it can be visible so we're going to give it a color of white and then we give it a position relative on the margin left 
and 10 pixels okay let's save and see now what we have here yeah so you see our menu icon is now visible yeah but of course you know from the original here with these large screens there's no menu icon and there's no checkbox so we need to make these icons disappear so to do that we go back here and we make the display and in that case you are going to make the label disappear and you can also do the same for the checkbox and for the checkbox since it has an id of nav toggle so you can make the nav toggle disappear so just come here and we add an id of nav toggle okay and we put display and make it disappear so save that and refresh here so this you see they have disappeared and you can see the menu elements the individual menu elements have taken up the space properly here okay so from there we move to the next item we have a background image here okay so we need to press that image So let's refresh yeah so after refreshing you see we have our nav bar here but you see that when you scroll the nav bar is not sticky in other words it disappears when you're scrolling so we need to make it sticky so to do that we need to go back to the class of the nav bar and give it a position sticky so we are going to go back here to our class of nav bar then we give that a position we call it sticky so let's see refresh still the same problem so we need to put this this step is very important so we need to keep that in mind so we put zero without this step navigation back cannot be sticky so we refresh now and now you see now when you scroll the navigation bar is sticky so this step here is very these two steps are very important for making the nav bar sticky those are the major learning points for today okay so from there we can continue we can do some more styling to make our nav bar look like here remember we have some text down here even here the text is there but because we're having a dark background we need to change our text look more beautiful so I'm going to style the text so you see now we are finished styling the content we can make this heading a bit more beautiful also okay let's see what we have now okay so we have now aligned our text in the middle here we can compare so we have already made a sticky header and we have given the background image so we can make the website look a bit more beautiful so i need to add this hover effects to this class we have already talked about this so i'll just add the code very fast if you don't know you make reference from other tutorials so i'll come here add the paragraph for this if i start the paragraph Okay, let me see okay now that looks a bit better 
Now let's start with the navigation bar more. From the original one you see we have some mover effects. We say this one means that you, these properties inside here, are going to affect all other menu items when you hover over them, apart from the one with an active class. So you can see what that is. Here, yeah, let's refresh. So you see, this is our home. We have given it background of red. Then these other classes, when you hover over them, you get the background color, but that hover does not affect this class because it has an active class so it is not affected by the hovering but you discover from the original one when the screen becomes smaller you show the menu icon and when you click on the menu icon that's when you're able to access this menu items like that click again they disappear yeah like that but now when you compare with this one this one you are making here when you make the screen smaller there is nothing the items just become disorganized so it's not responsive so you need to style the responsive part so for responsive styling you are going to use media queries so for example here we begin with what this means is that the properties you are going to put inside here are going to be of the one shown when the screen with it is 800 pixels and below so we can begin putting the items or the properties that we want to be changed when the screen size becomes a bit smaller so we we'll begin with the class now nav bar okay and the logo Then the label, remember you said when the class goes down, when the screen is low, the label is to appear. Here we said up here, we put display none. So to be able to make the label appear, we are going to put a display or block. Then you can also put a cursor or a pointer. Okay, so we are now moving. So we can see what we have so far. Refresh here and then minimize your screen size. So when you minimize, you see the menu icon is being shown here. Now we start with the menu. refresh so when you decrease here you see the menu is coming vertically and the menu items are like that but uh, we should be able to click here and the menu appears when you click again the menu disappears so to do that we use simple styling here oh, we've talked about this so i won't waste too much time here So we are saying that uh, what this means that when you click on the menu icon because it has an ID of nav toggle when you click on the menu item you should be able to see the menu items and then you click again it disappear but remember our menu is now being shown here so we need to first make the menu disappear so we are going to have a display here of none so the menu can disappear 
Okay. So you see here, it'll disappear. But you click, when you click, nothing happens. So to make it appear again here, we we'll say here, display block. So refresh and click, comes. Click again, disappear. Click, come. Okay. This piece of code is very important for the styling of this menu icon. I can style it a bit. I can say menu image. I give it a width. Still, the width is a hundred percent. The height image seventy view height instead of hundred. Okay. Then even my text uh, yeah and first I'm using my text I use the padding of 150 pixels 150 is large for this small screen so I can increase it a bit to decrease it a bit so I can cover more space decrease on this space here on the sides so let me text here The padding in this case is going to be zero. Let me use 60 pixels now for the sides. Okay, let's save and see what we have. Okay, so you observe now our images that you click here goes. Okay, yeah. but you see if, if the screens are very small, then yeah, this cannot be it may not look very good sometimes when the screens are very small it's better to have the menu filling up this whole space here the whole width so i can put another media query for a smaller screen here we're using 800 pixels so let me use a smaller pixel here another media query for smaller pixel than that one Okay, so in this case, I'll go for those below 500 pixels. And in this case, the menu I wanted to cover the whole width. Here it was covering 50%, so I wanted to cover that. So let me say the menu in this case. Okay, let's see what that looks like now. So when I refresh, it's that for middle screens, like that. And for very small screens, it is a full width here like that. And scroll, you can scroll like the logo can be scrolled and that. So that is our responsive sticky navigation bar. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Keep on following my channel. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe and wait for more interesting things thanks for watching